Hello, my name is Alex Pope. In this video, we join Wessex Archaeology's dive team as they dive the HMS A1. So, I'm heading northwest, can't I, Frank? That's a roger. The HMS A1 was the first truly British designed and built submarine for the Royal Navy and was built and launched in 1902. The A1 submarine was sunk twice in its career. The first time was on May 1904 when the submarine was struck on the starboard side of the conning tower by a mail streamer, SS Berwick Castle. Really she sank in just 12 metres of water with the loss of all the crew. In April 1904, the submarine was raised repaired and re-entered for service. What's this I'm looking at here? Is this like, is this like a big chain here? <laughs> However, after a petrol explosion in August 1910, day one was converted to a test bed for the Admiralty's Anti-Submarine Committee. The second sinking occurred in 1911, whilst running submerged and unmanned on autopilot. Although the position of the wreck was known at the time, the wreck was not recovered. The wreck of HMS A1 was rediscovered in 1989 off Bracklesham Bay in West Sussex, five miles away from where the submarine sank. This is because it is thought that the vessel was only partially flooded and was carried down the coast by strong local currents. The HMS A1 was designated under the Protection of Wrecks Act in 1998. Yeah, that's right, that's, that looks like the forward loading hatch. Wessex Archaeology's dive team investigated the wreck in 2005, as shown in this video. Evidence from the dive shows that many of the vessel's fixtures and fittings have been removed or are missing. A survey of the interior of the hull, particularly inside the torpedo hatch and the conning tower, was conducted by mounting a camera and a light onto an extendable pole as a diver survey was not possible due to extensive sediment accumulation. What's the like? Is it it's really good. Okay. Okay, all stop. Mm -hmm. Down. And in. So there are actually features forward towards the bow cap that you can see. Yeah, there's a lot of piping along the, the inside, along the ceiling. Yeah. I'm meeting a bit of resistance there. I don't know what that. Is. There's a big bank of silt. Okay, all right. Uh, aft hatch. Right. Give me one minute. Just steady myself. Hang on, let me just grab hold of something. Is it still running? Yeah, well, it, like just a bit. It's, this would have been a dead light here, would it? Uh, yes, Roger. Okay, come in close. Say again? I want you to come in close. Okay, go up to the top and look down. And then just do a nice little survey around there. Say again? Just looking in. Oh, that's lovely. Nice and slow. And do a 360 around there. Okay, just... Uh, down a touch. I'll stop there. Rotate right. Roger that. Just hold that there. That's, that's great. And then we're gonna um, take you out then, okay? Thank you. It's, uh, it's completely regular hole. Completely square. It's flanged here, can you see that? Yeah, I see that. And then give me a give me a look at that. But see what we've got here, we have 
Something here as well. This does look quite fresh. Okay, pan down. Okay, that's good. So this is just tube on the outer um, hold case. Those big lifting rings. Okay, alright. This wreck is protected under the 1973 Protection of Wrecks Act, and Wessex Archaeology dived this wreck on behalf of English Heritage. To dive this wreck yourself requires a government license. For more information on HMS A1 and all our coastal and marine projects, visit our website at splash.wessexarch.co.uk. Okay, ready to leave, bottom. Leave bottom when ready. Roger that, left oh. bottom. For more information on the Protection of Wrecks Act and the work of English Heritage, visit www.english-heritage.org.uk Now it looks good. Cool. Alright, super fantastic.